Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's make something fun, festive, and cute. Stay tuned. So during the holiday season, we spend a lot of time with family and friends, and we spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Food is a very big part of how we celebrate our holidays. It is um, the joy of food, the love of cooking together, just that fellowship that takes place in the kitchen and around the table. Um, it's just one of those things that you really can't describe. And a lot of times we'll make a dish and everyone wants that recipe. And today's video is going to be a very simple one, but it's going to be a very cherished one. It is going to be a way to gift the memory of a recipe to someone, and it's going to be a way to gift the memory of recipes to your guests as takeaways at that family event that you might be having. And what I've made is just a little box. It's a favor box that you can fill with some of your favorite recipes and gift them to your guest. Now I didn't decorate the cards and the reason why I didn't is because the cards are double-sided. So I didn't want to take away any of the writing room. I just simply cut the cards out and I made a box to hold them. And these cards are very durable cardstock and I'll show you exactly what I used for the cards themselves. And I used this beautiful, beautiful recipe card set and it's made by Photoplay. And you can see just how gorgeous these recipe cards are, front and back. So basically I just cut these apart and I made a box for them to fit in. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to make this gorgeous little box. So when finished, our box is going to measure six and one eighth by four and one eighth, and then it will be three quarters of an inch deep. And I think this is just so cute and so delightful for giving to our guests. So, And you don't have to make many of these. But you know if you have a couple of diehard cooks coming to the family and you want to share your recipes, find some beautiful paper, get some of those cut aparts, and make a nice little box and just hand it out as a thank you for coming favor. So let's get started on making this. So to make our project, we are going to be using some chipboard and I have already covered the back of my chipboard. So we are going to need two pieces that measure three quarters by six and one eighth. We're going to need one piece that measures six and one eighth by two and a half. We'll need one piece that measures six and one eighth by three. And we'll need one piece that measures six and one eighth by four. And we are going to need a decorative piece of paper that measures seven and three quarters by 12. I am going to bring my scoreboard in and we're going to score this at three quarters of an inch on the seven and three quarter inch side and we will score this at seven. Then we will turn it on the 12 inch side we're going to score this at three quarters of an inch, three and seven eighths, four and five eighths, nine and nine and three quarters. And then we're going to fold and burnish our scores. Okay, so now that we have our scores folded and burnished, we have tabs here that we need to cut. And then we have tabs here that we need to cut on both sides. And then we have this flap here that we're going to fold over once we put down our chipboard piece. So let's go ahead and remove the opening for our tabs. Okay guys, so once we have our tabs cut out, we're going to go ahead and place our chipboard pieces. And the way that we're going to do that is the end where we have the folded flap, we are going to come back with our six and an eighth by three inch piece of chipboard, and we're simply going to place that down 
so that it falls inside of our score lines. And the reason why I'm doing it like this instead of laying chipboard and then putting my liner piece in is because for this particular box, I like the flexibility that having this space here gives a lid like this on this project. I don't always do it like this, but on this one, I found it to be the easiest way. So then we're going to come back with one of our three and a quarter by six and one eighth inch pieces. And we're going to place that here. All right, guys, so I was talking only to realize that I wasn't actually filming. So I pretty much got the box completed before I realized it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the side for a moment and show you the process that I went through. So I was in the process of placing this piece here and I'm just doing this with paper, no chipboard, just to show you guys how to finish this off. So originally I said that the piece should be six by four. It should actually be six by four and one eighth. So I've got that placed down. All right, so we're at this point and we're going to put our box together. Now, you so we're at this point, you're going to have a second three and a quarter by six and one eighth inch piece that you'll place here. I did not cut out that piece, so I'm not going to put it here for demonstration purposes, but in my finished box, this is where it actually lays. So let's go ahead and put this together. And the way that we're going to do this is, so the end where we've got this three quarter inch strip, we're simply going to fold it over and we're gonna stick it down with glue. So then we're going to come into our tabs here and place glue on both tabs. And we're going to take this section here, bring it up to the tab to form a box. So once we've got it up, I'll just come back with my bone folder, get that stuck down. I'll come over to the other side. And again, it's this middle section here that I'm taking from and I'm taking that long tab and attaching it to the smaller tab that I have. I'll stand it up and we'll get it stuck down. So once we've got this piece done, we're now going to take this piece, the front here, and we're going to glue these side flaps down. So let's go ahead and take our glue and put it down just like this. And we're going to do this on both sides. And we'll fold this backwards, just like this. And now we pretty much have a completed box because we are going to take these portions here and we would just fold these in onto the red piece just to finish that off. And now we have a finished box. But what I don't like about this particular box is I don't like these little sides here. So what I did on this one, and I'm going to do the same thing over here, is I came back with my scissors and I simply came down to the score mark here or to the flat mark and I cut them out just like that and then I'll come back with my glue and I'll fold it in and that is how we can finish this off and then if you don't like the raw edge of that piece you can take a scrap piece of your paper and glue it down to finish off that end. So now this brings us to where we are on this box. So I'll bring my actual project back in. I have a piece that measures two by six and one eighth. I've got it folded. I am going to just burnish it and place some glue on it. And then I am going to bring this 
and get it stuck down. And I'm just placing it on my top piece because this is the piece that'll fold over. So I'm gonna come back with my bone folder and just get that nice and stuck. And now we've got a beautiful, beautiful box, nicely finished. And so all I want to do at this point is I have two magnets and I am going to take my magnets and just place them down with some glue. And I am simply going to place that in there so I'll know where to place the magnets. I don't mind the magnets showing at all. So I am simply going to place my glue there. Then I'll place my glue on that one. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. Then I'll fold this over. I'm going to give this good time to dry. And then I'll be back. All right, guys, so my magnets are down. And I went ahead and decorated the outside of my box. And I used just a Santa Claus from my Anna Griffin collection, as well as a sticker from a sticker sheet that I have. I think this turned out beautifully. I absolutely love it. It's such a simple way to give the gift of some recipe cards. And I am going to place a few of the recipe cards that I have on the inside. And you can see just how cute those are. And I'll just tuck them down inside. And we'll close it and let the magnet grab. So I'll bring the other one back in so you can see just how cute these really are and how easy they are to make. You know, there is nothing more special than giving a family recipe at Christmas time. And what a great way to give a favorite recipe in a box like this. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch in the box, just a few recipes will do. Or you can fill the whole box with cards that you might have of maybe just a dessert box of recipes or a side dish box of recipes. This is just great. And again, if you change the papers, you can make this for any season, any reason. Fill these with recipes for the new bride. All types of things that you can do with this. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, have a great day. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.